Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome back to my channel. So today I come with yet another video where I'm showing you the recipes that my kids really enjoy eating and I'm not going to show you normal sabzi roti that we make on day to day basis. So I make sabzi roti once a day for sure. So I am going to exclude that and this is everything that my kids eat during the week except sabzi rotis. And let's get started with the video. But before that, please like this video and subscribe to mom and me. I am aiming for 500 likes. So your like will really mean a lot for my channel and I can actually bring more of such content for you guys. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So to make veggie idli, I'll first make puree of some veggies. I have taken spinach, carrot, capsicum and a little beetroot just so that you don't make it super red. You can take veggies of your choice. Now I will add some water and make puree. Next I will add this puree to the idli batter and mix. And make idlis as you would normally do. If you really want to take it a step further, make red beetroot idli, orange carrot idli, green spinach idli and so on. You get the point right? Kids love color and they will get really fascinated with colorful idlis. You can even make dosas using same batter. Just add a little bit more water to adjust the batter consistency. Be creative and make eating fun for kids. I have made instant coconut chutney to go with this. To make it, all you need is 4 tablespoons of fine desiccated coconut, 3 tablespoons of plain yogurt, coriander leaves and some black salt. I like to add fresh coriander to this chutney as it gives a unique flavor and taste to it. For tempering, I will heat some oil, add mustard seeds, once they crackle, add urad dal, curry leaves and a little hing and this is the tempering that you need to add to the coconut chutney and voila, yummy and healthy veggie idli with coconut chutney is ready. Next is my kids favorite methi butter pulao. It's good way to include greens in your kids diet and it's very simple to make. My daughter used to hate eating fenugreek before and she would pick it out every time but I made sure that I'd include more and more in her diet. So I made fenugreek sabzi, pulao, thepla, mutia and now she has acquired the taste and she does not dislike it anymore. The point is if your kids don't prefer certain types of food, please don't stop making them and say hey my baby doesn't like this or eat this. This way you are stamping their likes and dislikes which might change in future. So give them a opportunity cook and their taste buds might change in future so to make pulao here's what you're gonna need green peas one potato half tomato one bunch of fenugreek or methi leaves in a cooker or deep pan add oil add jeera one green chili make sure not to cut the green chili because otherwise the pulao will become very spicy and you will not be able to pick it out because it's green also add a pinch of hing or acetata then add chopped potatoes. Cook potatoes for a minute or so then add methi leaves. Again cook for a minute or two then add green peas. Now add all dry masalas and also half tomato. Now I am adding 2 cups of rice. I pre-soaked it in water for around 15 to 20 minutes. Now add rice with the water and cover the pan till the rice is cooked. It will take around 15 to 20 minutes. You can also cook it in the pressure cooker. Just make sure one whistle and 5 minutes on low flame and then turn off the gas and let the pressure cooker cool down itself and yummy pulao is ready. Next, I'm going to show you how I make Vagharela Sprout Moon. This is a great breakfast option. So to make it, add oil to a pan. Once oil is hot, add jeera and hing and add sprouted moong. Cook it for around 3-4 to four minutes, then add all dry masalas like turmeric, coriander powder, little chilli powder, black salt and cumin powder. I also add a lot of cumin seeds and cumin powder in this recipe as cumin is the dominant taste in this recipe. Also adding fresh coriander and squeezing half a lemon really uplifts the taste. Now add around 1 cup of water and let this cook on low flame for around 5-10 to 10 minutes till all the water is evaporated and only little bit is left. Do not cook till it's completely dry. 
a little bit of water really tastes yum. Lastly, add fresh coriander and squeeze half lemon. Serve this with a raisin toast and it is such a lovely combination. Actually, it's not spinach patty, it's more like hara kebab. So here is all you're gonna need. Greens like capsicum, green peas, green beans and blanched spinach. I have taken approximately 10 to 15 spinach leaves and blanched them. You will also need mashed paneer and potato. This is mainly for binding. Lastly, coriander and dry masalas. Now I'll show you how to make it. So to make the patty, first we need to take a pan, add oil, add peas, green beans and capsicum and saute them. We need to saute them and evaporate excess water content from the veggies so that our patty does not turn soggy. Once you feel they are nicely caramelized and has lost enough water content, turn off the gas and let it cool. Now we need to coarsely crush all the greens including the blanched spinach. So to blanch the spinach, I added spinach to microwave safe bowl, add water to it and microwaved it for around 5 minutes and I squeezed out all the excess water. Now to make the patty, take a bowl, add crushed green veggies, add paneer and potato, chopped coriander, this here is poha powder, 2 tablespoon, 1 tablespoon corn flour. Now add all dry masalas like turmeric, cumin, coriander powder, chaat masala, red chilli and salt. Mix all this, not with a spoon but get your hands dirty. This way you can sense if it's dry or not, need more poha powder or not. I am doing a check here by making sure it's not sticking to my left hand. If it's sticky, that means the mixture is still soggy and you either need to add corn flour or you need to add poha powder. Once you've made the mixture, now make the patties and as usual deep fry or shallow fry them and serve it with chutney or with ketchup. So here you go, yummy and healthy spinach patty is ready. I'll show you another sprout moong recipe. This is a salad recipe and it's best option for evening snack. So to make the sprouted moong salad, first you need to blanch the sprouts for which we need to take some water and boil it and once the water is boiling, add moong sprouts to it and blanch for around 5 minutes. Then sieve it and set it aside to cool down. Now we will assemble the salad for which we need chopped cucumbers, tomatoes, capsicum, onion, carrots and coriander. Put all the chopped veggies together, add blunt sprout, black salt, chaat masala and fresh lemon juice. And sprouted moong salad is ready. This one is to die for, trust me. Try it once and I bet you, your toddler will enjoy this juicy and yummy salad. Another thing that I really like to serve my kids is protein balls. I made a big batch of it last week and I only have leftover now to show you but I have already shared this recipe on my channel before and I'll link it in the description and in the cards above. This is a very healthy option for kids. It has no sugar, it has only natural sweetener like jaggery and dates and it has chocolate powder and it's a real treat for my kids. So don't forget to check out the recipe, I'll link it in the description and in the cards. If your kids love mamra or puffed rice, then they surely gotta love this mint makhana. I have shared this recipe on my channel in past, but my kids love it so much, so I thought to share it with you guys again. It's one of my kids' favorite. So to make the makhanas, first I'm going to dry roast the makhanas. By dry roast, I mean I have not added any ghee or oil to roast them. Roast till they are crunchy. While makhanas are roasting, let's make mint and coriander powder. So here I have some mint and coriander leaves. I have washed and dried them. Now I'll put them on a paper towel and microwave, microwave it for 2 minutes. Stopping at every 30 seconds to turn leaves. Otherwise, they will not get crunchy evenly and might get even burned. 
Once they are dry and crunchy, make powder from them by rubbing it in between your palms. Now add this powder to roasted makhanas, add chaat masala, black salt and 1 tablespoon ghee to help coat all the flavoring to the makhanas. And here you go, healthy and delicious snack is ready in no time. As part of my weekly meal prep, I usually choose 3 beans and pre-soak them and store them in the fridge. Note, I do not boil, I only soak and store in the fridge. I'll boil them the day I need them. So this week, I am soaking 2 types of chana and moong to sprout. I'm soaking moong in hot water and I'll let it soak overnight and next morning, I will take off the water leaving just a little bit of water at the bottom which will be required for them to sprout. I will close the lid and leave it at the room temperature to sprout for a day or two depending on the weather. Once it's sprouted, I will store in the fridge. So I always boil black chana and potato as part of my meal prep again because my kids they just feel like pani puri anytime during the week. So I'll show you how I make instant pani puri. So I also have green chutney ready in my fridge. So all I would do is take green chutney, add water to it, add pani puri masala, chaat masala and black salt and my instant pani is ready. I make pani puri at least 3 times a month because my kids simply love it. I serve them one at a time in small plate just like we get on the Indian street. My kids have turned complete foodie in this lockdown as all we do is we just cook together and eat together but we are loving it. What is your favorite food? Pani puri. Who's your favorite food? Pani puri. Pani puri. puri. How? Dhyani. You are done now. No. I don't know what I'm eating. 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 Good boy. Good job. You can't eat anything. 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 You Bus? Bus dikla? Are you done? Yeah. Here is another instant recipe. It's coconut laddu. All you need is cardamom or elaichi powder, 250 grams of fine desiccated coconut and 400 grams of condensed milk. All you do is mix them together and make laddus. Garnish with pistachio powder and coconut laddus are ready. This is actually my personal favorite. I simply love coconut laddus. If any day I feel like my kids have not eaten well at dinners, I'll make them flavoured milk. So today I'm making kesar, pista, elaichi and badam dood for them. I have added everything to the milk and let it boil for 10 to 15 minutes once it comes to the boil. Cool it at room temperature and serve. I wonder if you would be interested to see what other kind of flavoured milk I make for my kids like dates, uh, turmeric, etc. There are total 6 to 7 types that I make. Do let me know in the community section if you would like to see such video. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.